All right, YouTubers, this is for those of you that are still having the system error five uh, while trying to um, open the the uh, secret administrator account, or if you're if you're trying to do anything and you get the system error five, that just means that you do not have elevated um, permissions. So this account here, I'm gonna log on to. I'm using a virtual machine. I could have made the, uh, I could have went full screen and pretended that I was on a Windows 7 Ultimate computer, but I'm not. I'm in a, in a, in a uh, virtual machine, and that's what a lot of people use to demonstrate, so that way you can shut the computer on and off and still record. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here. Well, I'm on the user. I should be on the user account. I'm going to um, I'm going to try to run the CMD command, and then I'm going to right click, run as administrator, and as you can see, I'm being requested for a password, which a lot of you probably don't want to do. So. The unfortunate truth is the only way around that is either to know the password or you can try to log off, go to um, go on to the actual administrator account. So I'm going to try to switch users and see where that gets us. Okay, it wants us to please wait. Okay, so now I'm going to log on to this one. Now, obviously, I have a password, but if you're already on the computer that's an administrator, this is probably what you would do. If you don't have the password to get on the administrator, then you're going to have to click on the link below to... Um, learn how to access the administrator account but that would entail you deleting the the administrator's password and then getting on but okay so what we're going to do <coughs> now we're on the the administrator account so now what we're going to do is we're going to run the cmd command again and this time it it just opens up um on the other computer on the other user Everything I would try to do would ask me for a password. So I'm going to type the CMD and I'm going to right click and I'm going to run as administrator because that runs you at an elevated level. And for the most part, as long as you're on the administrator account, it shouldn't ask you for a password. Um, and let me remind some people that just because you're on an administrator account and it asks you for a password doesn't necessarily mean that there is a password there. You you could hit enter and it'll it'll take you through. And I'll show you in just a minute. But if you're looking to open the the secret administrator, type in net user administrator I'm typing one-handed by the way cuz my mic's kind of messed up still so I'm uh, holding it in my hand and then type yes and then enter and you should get the command completed successfully now let me remind you if you open up this administrator account you can sign on to it do whatever you need to do, but um, I would suggest doing exactly what I'm doing right now when you're done. You hit, um, you change it to no, you go back into the command prompt, type the command, and change it to no. Don't leave it open because that's what protects you if you ever need to get to it to help you out removing a virus. That's what you're going to use. So let me uh, go into the other user and we'll. We'll see if we can remove the password. And matter of fact, let me see if I can remove the password here. 
and then we'll uh we'll try we'll try the other account again uh let's see remove the password and then i'll show you exactly what i mean by so let me to save time let me just go ahead and remove this and i'll go back on to the other account in just a second okay i'm back on the standard account again and we're going to try to run the cmd and see i've removed my password from the administrator account and i'm going to right click run as administrator now i'll say it again i removed the password so what i'm going to do is just hit enter and although it was requesting a password as you can see it still let me go through so just because you're being requested for a password doesn't necessarily mean that you have to put something in there so if it pops up try hitting enter and that's pretty much why you're getting the system error other than that um the system error can be taken place because you are um you're going like this you're typing cmd and you hit enter and now you're running at a non-elevated level you need to be an administrator to do that so if i type the net user i'm going to type hit it and then there it is the system error five has occurred so if you're getting that error that's why you're not at an elevated but try signing on to the account um and try some of the ideas that i have here if, if none of this works for you please leave me a message down in the messages area and give me your scenario and i can see if i can help you pass that otherwise i'll leave you a link there's a link where you can go and uh you can uh, um, use a uh